So how many of you guys have getting, gotten ready to jump in the shower and you notice some stuff in your belly button? Well, it's the same thing. Lint, dirt, all that kind of stuff gets in places that you never think you would ever see. So, with that said, this being my carry gun, let's see how nasty it is. Let's check out the gun's belly button. All right, so it's been it's been a long time. It's uh, it's time to check this thing out. Now, carrying it around all the time, you're gonna get times when you know stuff is gonna get dirty. So it's a matter of checking out your equipment and making sure that it's it's up for the task. And in this case, this could be this would definitely be a life threatening type of deal if your gun was to malfunction. You know, hopefully you never have to pull your firearm, but for some reason you have to pull it. And then that day, your gun wasn't in perfect working order. Whose fault is that? Well, 90% of it's going to be our fault. It's whether we went to the range and the thing was just worked like a piece of crap. This gun here, let's take a look and see what our belly button, our gun belly buttons look like. All right, so inside the holster, it's a leather holster, so as it gets drawn, put on each day, you know, it has a, has a chance of getting stuff in here. You can see the heavy wear. You know, I've, I mean, this holster has been around a long time and I wear it about almost every day. And it's put up a good fight so far. It's got some nicks and scratches and some sweat marks, but awesome holster by DeSantis, summer comfort. All right, now this thing's been safety checked already, but just so you uh, guys, so you guys don't worry about me, but I'm gonna tear this apart and we'll see what we get into. Let's see what kind of nastiness is in here. Oh, right there, look at that. You see that fuzz on there? Let me get this camera lower. Look at that. It's like pieces of leather or nastiness. Hopefully you're getting all that. Look at that. Maybe you can see the dingleberries. Let's see if I can get the right angle. Right in here is a bunch of uh, like not felt but um, like furry stuff for maybe your shirt let's see if I can get this so you guys can see it see those little there you go see that fuzzy stuff in there you gotta make sure that your weapon is up to par here I can see a bunch of it but let's get it opened up gonna be a little tricky here. Gotta get the mag out if you want it to come off, silly. All right, for some reason these ones, oh yeah, look at all that. Look at that. Let's see if I can get this in focus. It's kind of embarrassing. It's like showing you my dirty belly button hole. Let's get a Q-tip, see how much crap we can get out of here. I definitely like cleaning my guns with Q-tips, but look at all this fuzz. There's a ton of it in here. So this definitely is a good video for you guys to just go, you know what, I need to, um, I need to clean A little bit of that's gun grease. But there's a bunch of fuzz in here. Let's see if I can get this. Let's see if I can figure out where it goes. <laughs> yeah. 
So sitting in your sitting in your uh, whatever everyday your carry holster is going to be, whether it's pocket, probably even worse in your pocket with all the crap in the bottom of a pocket. But you have you know you have the ability to contaminate your firearm and uh, something to think about. So check your gun's belly button. That's all I can say about that. It's just uh All right, so hopefully you saw the video, all the gunk and junk in my carry carry gun. This is a uh, very very bad embarrassing pretty much. So you had a chance to uh, go through Rick's Nasty belly button gun fuzz. So I'm gonna clean this up, but I'm uh, I'm hoping you guys understand that it is important to keep your stuff first line, uh, rocking and rolling, and keeping it nice and safe for you guys. So have a good one. Take care, and remember, is your six covered? Like, share, and subscribe. Thanks.